I'd like to talk to you about a little game called Zenith. Well, I'd like to talk to you about a little game called Zenith, but I fucking can't. Because after about four hours of playing it, I came across a main story quest that I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get past. I spent hours trying to find a solution and didn't find anything, and I couldn't find anything on the internet about it either, so fuck it. Instead, I'm gonna be talking about Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor. I know I'm a little late on this one, but... Give me a break, guys. I'm not even real. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor, a game that describes itself as an anti-adventure game about picking up trash in an alien bazaar. It's published by Tiny Build, the guys who published Punch Club, No Time to Explain, and Speedrunners, and developed by Sunday Month, who made a bunch of games on Game Jolt. You play as this janitor here, and yes, for the record, I am going to put up a picture of the janitor from Scrubs every time I say the word janitor, because that is is how you do comedy, people. You start the game up and you walk around being a janitor and then you get given an eyeball, you eat said eyeball and then go down into the sewers where you find a skull and get cursed. So thanks for watching guys, remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. So now you've got this skull following you around everywhere, occasionally going rah at you, so you've got to find a way to break the curse and get rid of the skull. Cause, you know, can't have a skull following you around all the time, what if it embarrasses you in front of the slime monster? You'll never live it down. So the story is weird, but charming. In fact, you could probably use those two words to describe the entire game now that I think about it. I like that it gives you a simple objective and lets you go about it in your own way. The game is very heavily exploration based, but not in the No Man's Sky kind of way where you're just sort of exploring for the sake of exploration. You always have objectives to beat that more often than not require exploration, which I like. The game lets you do your thing, it doesn't hold your hand, and it lets you explore the spaceport and experience what it has to offer at your own pace, and that's a good thing. But enough with all this praise, I want to talk about how weird this game is. This game is weird. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me do that. Like I said before, the game is weird, but charming. It's clear right from the start that there is a lot going on in the lore of this game. Goddesses, curses, quest tablets, all that good stuff. And at times, it can feel sort of overwhelming, because the game doesn't give you that much of a sense of direction. It just says, hey, do this thing, and if you don't know how to do this thing, then figure it out, bitch. What am I, your mum? But like I said, that's where the need to explore comes comes from, that's the game not holding your hand. And one thing I think is kind of neat is how the janitor you play as basically only knows what you know. The aliens, the curses, the general weirdness, it all seems as foreign of an idea to her as it does to you. The janitor is just as fucking confused as you are, and I like that. Makes me feel like it's okay to be confused because the janitor is confused too. Now, you might have noticed that I've kind of avoided talking about the gameplay apart from when I mentioned the exploration. Well, just fucking look. You pick up trash. Uh, you want a cookie or something? Yeah, as far as the core gameplay goes, there really isn't much to say. You walk around, talk to people, buy and sell things, incinerate trash like spills, flyers, and your own vomit. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I actually found the gameplay to be weirdly immersive. Walking around the spaceport, seeing the weird and funny aliens, watching the world go by, it actually really draws you in which is impressive considering the graphics look like this. So yeah, those were my thoughts on Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor. I thought it was immersive, funny, oddly relaxing, weird, and charming. The core gameplay is very simple. You pick up trash, eat questionable food, and sometimes buy a new gender from one of the gender kiosks. I mean, yeah, why not, right? There aren't any enemies except for maybe these guys who will sometimes literally eat your money if you bump into them. And it's not a hard game by any means. The biggest challenge of this game is pretty much just managing your money. It really is just a game about being a janitor in a spaceport and I like it quite a lot. It's definitely a unique experience and it's dirt cheap on Steam, so I would definitely recommend it. Also, follow me on Twitter. I know, I'm sorry, I know this has nothing to do with the game and it's shameless self-promotion, but I'm starting to post there more frequently, so if you're interested, eh, eh. 
Fuck, I've ruined this entire video. Diaries of a spaceport janitor gets a potato with a cape and a crown. So, so pretty good, in other words.